today I was just going to show how you would set up your longer Ray 5 10 watt machine in Lightburn so down here you just go to devices you want to go to create manually come down to GRBL click next on this serial now name it what well, you want to name it longer Ray 5 10 watt the work area on this one is 400 by 400 next the origin you want front left I have mine and that's it you're done so now click finish I'm gonna click on this one say ok I like to click make default but yours should open like this and you can see it's 400 by 400 you can see the origins down the bottom here so now you just basically would import in your design so this 3d photo is the one I'm gonna go for I'm going to click save image as and save it where I want to save it. Go to a website called ImageR. So in ImageR, just go to upload, find where you put it. You can see it'll upload like that. Go to resize, <coughs> change pixels to inches and make it the size that you want it. Uh, the dots per inch I'm going to say 400 because that's what's claimed on the website it can do around now you can see it's recreated it here I'm going to go to material Norton because this is mostly used for diode lasers I'm going to choose wood okay and now this is how it's showing if my settings was right how it would come out so I'm gonna to go to download I'm gonna download the BMP you can see that's here I'm gonna click and drag that right from there drop it you can already see the difference between them two so I'm gonna delete this one I'm gonna click on this one make sure my settings I'm gonna put it right about in the middle make sure my settings are about right which they are that was the same I had as yesterday the only difference this time is because I've divvied it outside of the program now this image has already got the dots in it you want to use pass through as the image mode and that way it will use the dots that you're already created here so that's all set up I'm gonna do this offline so I'm gonna say save G code and then just click where you want to save your g-code to so then I'll go out there and I'll put this g-code into the laser and we'll go from there yeah, so I'm going to try and do that design on a piece of MDF I have the leveling block here and you'll see just behind this laser you unlock these two knobs here and then you'll see it fit underneath there's a little slot just push it in under there make sure it's standing up straight that's where it wants to be just lock that off don't forget to take your block out so now it's at the right height so I'm going to put the card in there press the button I'm going to press back engraving my one down there wasp and click engrave one pass Yep, yeah, you can see there it just finished and that's how it come out and it's quite nice etching that was at a 9000 millimeters per minute speed and a 45 power but yeah again very nice etching so again thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll be adding more videos as soon as possible. Thank you very much.